Until next time, you can, can join the call you here. Can, you can at join the call. www.join. <laughs> Hi guys, this time we want to give you a behind the scenes look at the making of our newest cultural settlement, the Aztecs. For this, we'll be asking some questions to Eileen, one of the game designers on Forge, um, and who is in charge of this project. But before we begin, we want to let you know that you can already try out the Aztec settlement if you sign up to our beta service. The uh, link for this is in the description below. So uh, firstly, Eileen, would you like to give us a bit of an introduction about yourself? Hello, yes, of course. So, as Kurt already said, I'm Eileen. I'm one of the game designers for Forge of Empires and I'm in charge for the Aztecs. But I also am responsible, or mainly responsible, for other features we do, you can see in Forge. Um, I'm really happy to be here and I'm happy to present you our newest project, the Aztecs. So, let's get started with some questions about the Aztec Cultural Settlement. So, the cultural settlement of the Aztecs is the fourth culture that's introduced into Forge of Empires. Why did we choose the Aztecs this time? So, first of all, we looked at different cultures, of course. What we wanted to do, which ones we liked from the looks, and maybe also which mechanics we could introduce. So, we knew that we wanted to do something different this time, but we also did not want to drift too far apart from Forge thematically. So we ended up choosing the Aztecs as they, as they are already known due to the Guild expedition. But we also wanted to see how well new and old stuff can mix together. So we chose them. So compared to the other cultural settlements that we have in the game, the Vikings, feudal Japan, the uh, ancient Egypt, what was the goal that you had for this settlement? So our first goal was to try something completely new. We already had the negotiation game, we already have fighting, which are very well known mechanics from the game and our players. So we thought, why not explore something completely new, completely new mechanics? And that was our main goal. So tell us, um, what do you need to consider when starting to implement a, a new settlement? Um, so there are a few things we need to consider, of course, and before our devs can start even implementing, art need to be ready, we need to know which buildings we want to build, which rewards we want to give out, and then I also need to make sure that each playthrough is fun for our players, and then we can start. What kind of research did you need to do for the Aztecs? So we were watching different documentations and gathered as much information as we could online, of course, from different sources. We were looking at their buildings, at their lifestyle, the social structures and why this culture is so unique. So we wanted to really point that out and compare as many sources as we can to make it as good as we can. So there's a new mini game in the cultural settlements. Why did you come up with this kind of game? So as I said, we wanted to try something new. So we were investigating what we potentially could do to stick to our genre from, from Forge, but also kind of have a little twist in it as well. So one of our goals was to keep it simple, but also have some sort of skill test in the game, just like fighting in ancient Egypt and trading in feudal Japan. So how difficult will the Aztecs be compared to the other settlements, especially Egypt, which is currently seen as like the most difficult settlement? It will not be as hard as the Egyptians, but I would say it's somewhere around the difficulty of the Vikings. Now, the big question is, what other cultures can we expect to see in the future? That's a very interesting question, and we have different ideas, of course, and directions we want to go. But I will not spoiler anything so far, so just stay tuned. Nice. So, that's it. And don't forget, you can be one of the first to play our new settlement if you sign up to our beta service. We'll be listening for your feedback. Until next time. Bye.